Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast. I'm Jane Rogers. Research is showing that hyperbaric oxygen therapy has some real potential if you want to slow aging and the age-related diseases that come with it. With recent research from Israel, it's been demonstrated to increase telomere length and get rid of senescent cells, zombie cells, which spew inflammatory molecules, which contribute to aging. Today's guest is Dr. Jojo Yance. In his clinics, he is using hyperbaric oxygen therapy, known as HBOT for short. It makes sense to me. You eat right, you you work on your sleep, you work on all these factors. But if we can dial up the oxygen that is is in the oxygen perfusion up here and the delivery of oxygen, I've, I've seen it do, do amazing things uh, because the body already knows how to, how to work with that nutrient. See, that's how we view it. We view oxygen as a nutrient. So some of the factors at play when you do hyperbaric oxygen therapy that's been documented and researched is mm-hmm. it uh, creates more stem cells in the brain. It creates uh, more BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Mm-hmm. It, it specifically creates up to eight times more stem cell production through this process. It produces sirtuins that that are Wonderful. actually increase the telomere length. But the most powerful factor, a third one, is something that happens by what's called relative hypoxia. Okay. The brain and the nervous system, they're not actually going hypoxic or lack of oxygen, which is a, which is a trigger for the brain and the nervous system because it thinks it's going to die. So it mounts everything it has to bring healing to play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just even being relative hypoxia triggers that same sirtuin reaction to bring that to play. So that is one of the main thing that's happening in terms of uh, this idea of anti-aging or aging well, as I like to say. Uh, doctors are referring a lot now. We have surgeons, uh, plastic surgeons uh, that are referring to us, and dentists, because to do a series of five before and five after uh, surgery mm-hmm. that exponentially minimizes the recovery time and, and then minimizes the potential adverse reactions around surgery. Mm-hmm.